a beautiful Tuesday night here in the Pearl of Africa, Uganda. And we have ourselves a Sony Xperia XZS. So this phone screw battery died and we are going to replace it, show you how to replace it. Now, contrary to most phones, this phone involves you ungluing the screen for you to be able to access the battery, which is a very tricky situation. Lucky for me, this one was swelling and had started releasing without uh, uh, cracking the screen. So anyway, I just used some little isopropyl alcohol in a tissue, swabbed a little at a time around the peripheries to release it, and this came out. But at times, using heat could help. Now, after the screen has lifted, there's this plate that screws the battery into place. Uh, but normally before I do that, I tend to, I want to first uh, release the battery, sorry, the screen from that. So the screen is usually locked into place by this mechanism. This goes off and then we can pick the screen out of the socket and uh, so as to proceed. So anyway, that's also part of how you would replace the screen. Now this plate is held in place by screws around and this gets off. I've already done that. And uh, the battery is always glued to this back and uh, as such needs to be removed. So that goes away. Uh, having done that, the next stage is of course we need to clean the surrounding that is going to help with receiving the screw. So um, while there please do hit the subscribe button and uh, do share but um, i'm kind of glad to have you guys here because it's a beautiful day and i know you cannot see that off ca on camera and uh, i just have to tell you that to convince you that it is and all right let's uh, succeed with this repair and so i'm going to dip some little piece of clothes in there and then wipe this is just for the next stage which is when i'm gluing down the screen i need those areas to be clean so just blowing away dust uh -huh. having done that now the challenge is this is a replacement battery and it claims it's exactly the same as this which i'm a bit skeptic about so because i do not trust that control board i feel like using this one's control board and transplanting it onto that and uh, i just wonder whether that's a wise decision but uh, okay let me just check underneath to see uh, in that no i just don't trust them this one I replaced and it turns out the phone would just now start to dummy charge while it is even not being charged. So I don't know whether that's what was the batteries doing or just me. And uh, anyway, this is a little detour in the video, but uh, it would have just been as simple as replacing the battery itself so having done that mm, we release this and i just need to compare and see where the connectors are located they look to be similar locations now uh, next thing is for me to also check with this one and see the quality of the build whether it is nice and neat so I'm going to just cut off that all right I don't know whether I should just trust that this is a good job, but 
some part of me says not to so i'm only going to trust the accumulator but not the control board Okay, flip it around and then check what we have there. I don't know. I feel like I can't trust this compared to what I'm seeing here. This looks like better work than this. So to guarantee the long life of this battery, I'm going to just use the old battery board for this task. So first to be able to pick it out okay mm. Mm. this and solder let's clean the tip all right, and now I'm going to apply some solder there. So I need to begin with the positive terminal to release that. So I'm applying heat. Okay, that's off. Then I need the negative terminal also out. And uh, right there that's off okay now let's confirm that that's okay that's negative so on the contrary to what we expected our negative and positive are on opposite sides Oh, you know, we just flip the battery upside down. I believe it doesn't hurt. Does it? Probably not. Okay. Now we come to this one. And this is the positive terminal. The negative Okay, now positive to positive.
Oh, sorry to have left you alone. There. But I'm finding a way of skewering, skewering this in place. Okay, I'm going to use wires for that. Going to use earphone wires. Okay, that should be enough. Okay, so I have put cell tape over there, and then uh, let's uh, get this going. So I feel like anyway.
So let me put solder that to the terminal. We began with the negative terminal and uh, might put some flux there. Okay. And then back to that there. Okay. And the next thing is to connect the positive terminal. Right there. Alright. Now the next stage is to bring this over there. Okay. For the final stage. I only hope the accumulator itself is perfect. <laughs> 